everyone, here's my review for Crackdown 2. Just came out yesterday, and wow, I couldn't wait for the sequel, really. I love Crackdown 1. I just have to admit, I do. Now, many people have been telling me, well, not telling me, but just, you know, in, in reviews, saying that this is not that good. The reason why is because it feels so much like Crackdown 1. Do I think it's good? Do I think it's better than Crackdown 1? Do I think it's awesome? I don't know. Let's listen to the review. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to be surprised when I hear myself. Okay, let's go on to the story of Crackdown 2. Yeah, the story. Okay, now the story in Crackdown 2, I'm going to say it right here, there barely really is a story. All the story is, is that Pacific City now is run by freaks all around town. And you are the agent from the first one. Well, you're not the same agent, but you are an agent like in the first one. And pretty much you have to go and clean up the town of these freaks, where you pretty much have to put like little beacons around the town, I mean city, and pretty much, I guess, blow up freaks' hives and stuff. I don't know. There really is no story, and there really is no plot. So I'm just going to say right now, there is no <laughs> real story. So I don't know if I'm even going to grade it. You know, I will grade it because there is a resemblance to story, and really it's not fair to not grade it because they're too lazy to make it a story. So I'm still going to grade it, okay? So let's go on to the sound of the game. Okay, now sound in this game, I have to admit, really not many voiceovers. You get the main bad guy, who is a girl, I forgot her name. You get some audio logs of her. You get some audio logs of other people. You get some voiceovers for that. You get some voiceovers for the citizens and the cell members and your uh, agency comrades. You don't get a voice for your agent, obviously. He doesn't talk. I don't know what the hell he is. I guess he's a genetically enhanced super being. I guess he's like Master Chief. I don't know. Uh, but you do have your... Uh, agency guide guy, I guess the commander or whatever, that's looking over you, telling you what to do and how much you're screwing up, how much he loves you. So you have him, and he's actually kind of funny, I have to admit. In the demo when I was playing it, I thought he was really annoying. The first one I thought he was okay, you know, he wasn't that annoying. But in the full game, he actually says a lot of funny things. He's uh, actually somewhat helpful, but sometimes he gets a little annoying. Like he would tell you, stop killing civilians, I'm freaking jumping on a rooftop. I'm not, even, I'm not even nowhere near a civilian. I'm like, ugh. Uh, ah, confused. All right, so anyway, I think the sound is still okay. You know, the agency guy, he's okay. Voiceovers are alright, and the sound effects are pretty good. So overall, sound is fine. So yeah, let's go on to the graphics of this game. Okay, now the graphics in the game, I'm just gonna tell you right here. Many people have been saying these graphics are ugly. They're not good looking. I love these graphics. I love cell shaded graphics. And this is probably one of the best looking cell shaded games of all time. Right next to Borderlands, to be honest, these two are the, probably the best looking cell shaded games ever. The reason why I love this one is because it looks so realistic, but it still looks cell shaded. Like the buildings have like textures where it's like it's either cracking or something. It doesn't just have one big gray texture. I, no, it, it's not like that. The facial models are great. The environments look great. The ex explosions look very cartoony. I love it. I'll just say right now, the graphics to me are great. I'll just say right now, I love them. I really do. So let's just go straight to the gameplay of this well, game. Damn, I just know this is going to be a short review. Uh, so, you know, let me take some time and talk about the gameplay of this game. Now, the gameplay is your basic run around. You could jump high and stuff. You know, if you play Crackdown 1, I have to admit, it's not very different. But that's not saying much. Really, because it's still a whole lot of fun to play this game. I had such a blast playing this. Collecting orbs is addicting. Uh, chasing the new orbs where you have to chase them down is really cool. I like that. Just jumping it around is fun. Killing people is not fun. The missions are much better than the first one. The first one was like, oh, these missions are boring. This one's actually much better, much easier. And I would say easier because the, the first games, oh my god, they were annoying later on. It just got really annoying where you get... Uh, bigger, badder boss guys, so they have bigger, badder enemies. So it's like everybody's throwing freaking grenades at you. And this one, they still throw grenades and blow you up and stuff, but at least it's easier now. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just a little easier. Let's <laughs> just say that. You're a little badass here. You're a little badass here. You got more badass uh, awesomeness, okay? Let me just say. The melee combat, I have to admit, not that great, but not bad. Uh, the shooting still fun. You can actually, I, I I still love this. You get aim at each body part. Like you can shoot their foot, cripple them, and just come up with a shotgun, shoot them in the face. You know, you could do all that kind of stuff. You could go and freaking do a big body slam to the ground and freaking explode them. The gore is still here. I mean, I don't even remember the gore from the first game. Like, you don't see body parts exploding. I don't remember from the first game. Like if you hit someone with a car, they'll go explode. If you hit someone with a body slam to the ground, they'll explode. 
So the shooting, the melee, they're all good, okay? Even the melee, I'll say that it's not bad, it's it's good. I, I, the shooting's still really fun. And the jumping around, the exploration's really good. Now, the city didn't really change much, except maybe the city's a little blown up in parts, and you have the freaks to fight. So it's not very different, but still, it's fun to explore it again after a couple years of not seeing this place. So overall, I'll just say right now, I really love this game. It's one of my favorites this game. This year, and wow, I, I I don't know what to say. I really do love this game. It's so much fun. This will be probably one of the first games out there that I'm going to do an average review, like when I score everything, the story and stuff, and I'll give you that review, but I'll also give you my own review. So I have two reviews where one will be an average and one will be actually what I think the whole game deserves, because this game is so much fun. It really is. It's one of my favorites this year. I'll say it right now. I love it. There you go. Crackdown 2. I love you. So check the description for the full written review. All right, you know what? Let me just say this right now. I know it's not a big change. I'll just say it right now. It's not a big change from the first one, okay? Let me just say that. Anyway, check the description for the full written review. That's it. I'm done. I love Crackdown too. So I'm going to go back and play some more. So yeah, thank you and bye.